five years old, my parents got me a puppy. Christmas has always been one of my favorite times of the year. Um, growing up as a little child, it was um, a small little trailer we lived in. It was 10 of us, five boys and five girls. My mom was a stay-at-home mom and my dad worked, so we didn't have a whole lot of finances. So during Christmas break, we would just get together and think about what we can t make up and tell the kids at school we had because we weren't getting anything for Christmas. And that was such a fun time. And uh, right before Christmas break was over, we would get together in the room and talk about this is what we went to, these are the things we did. So we got to school after Christmas break, we had our story all together, and we talked about what we went to, what we did, how much we got for Christmas. Really didn't get anything, but those were some of my fondest times of Christmas. Well, uh, I think that was kind of sad, isn't it? We had a big snowstorm, and my mom wrapped me up in a big purple coat and a scarf and gloves, and I got to go outside and build my first snowman. Oh my gosh, you have to tell that. It would be so funny. <laughs> it's just gonna be bad. Be I remember one Christmas, it was me and my siblings and our parents, and we were exchanging Christmas gifts, and all of a sudden, someone said, what is that, what is that smell? And my mom turned around and she said, oops, I got a little gas. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. My brother one year opened his presents and put them back under the tree, and we noticed it, and we put sticks in his gill. And when he opened them, he said, sticks? They weren't here the other day. He also got a watch, and he had set the time and everything. And we hid it from him, and all of a sudden he says, where's my watch? Where's my watch? <laughs> One of my favorite Christmas memories is being able to be together with my family and open presents together on Christmas morning. You know, this is going back to my childhood. When I was about seven years old, uh, I, we had this competition going on in, in, in the great city of Birmingham to where uh, the decorating committee would go around from neighborhood to neighborhood and pick the best house who um, did the best decorations. So this particular year, I decided that I wanted to win because our neighbors had won before and I was uh, pretty sure I wasn't gonna let them win this year. So I went all out and you know, begged my mom for all kinds of decorations and I put it up and everything and the house was looking great, but unfortunately the, the house across the street was looking a little bit better than ours in my opinion. So uh, I decided the night before they were gonna do the judge, or the night of the judging, I snuck out in the middle of the night and I started unscrewing the light bulbs of my neighbor's house who, uh, who I thought was gonna win and while I was unscrewing them, one of the other neighbors saw me doing it because she saw the lights going off one by one and she called them and told them that she saw me out there doing it. And uh, they walked right to their picture window as I was unscrewing their light bulbs. And I was busted. So I, uh, I was guilty and just caught. So that's my Christmas story. On the night before Christmas, my family and I would always wear our new Christmas pajamas and we'd go to my Nana's house, make hot chocolate, and we'd have homemade Rice Krispie treats and we'd make them for Santa. So that's probably my best memory from Christmas. Favorite Christmas story. Do you want me to go on three, one, two, three, go, or one, two, go? My favorite Christmas memory is both a good one and a not so good one. Uh, when I was about 10 years old, we were visiting my grandparents in Florida and nine of us were staying in a 12 by 60 trailer house. And my favorite Christmas gift that year was a BB gun. I was so excited to have it, I had to run out and use it. Uh, to my dismay, my first target was one of my cousin's brand new Christmas teacups. So I kept my BB gun for maybe two hours before it was taken away from me for the rest of the Christmas holiday. And that's my favorite story. Since I take a long time to prepare myself. My favorite Christmas memory is when my parents would toss us the gift and one of my sisters would get in between us and catch it and yell out, interception. It would be so fun. 